Tanya coming back. Was this game set up with, with her for her to bring a team back here or what? It was. I, I think when we looked at the schedule and opportunity for people to come and play us, we always try to see what lady ball, former lady balls are out there. And Tanya expressed the interest to come. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited she comes back and, and, and plays at Tennessee and brings her team. Would it be good? Did she bring back good memories? I mean, she was pretty, she was kind of instrumental to you guys getting it getting it going with the championship. Yeah, she things. brings back great. But she was one of the first probably impact guards that we signed in a while and from the Detroit area. So um, she made a difference in our team. Just her athleticism, the way she played, uh, how hard she played. So, uh, as they called her ice, she was smooth, but she got things done. So, yeah, she, she helped start the ball rolling here. Holly, you made your team extremely happy by letting them go home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> you don't get to do that often. It's rare that you have a week between games. What was your thinking in terms of, of giving them a break, a short break like this? Well, we have a week off, and uh, we've, we've, been, we've been putting them to the test a lot. And I thought if we, we could come back and practice and uh, – give them Thanksgiving off. I just thought that was a natural thing to do and wanted if they had the opportunity to spend with their family. Then, uh, and it just worked out. And, and I'm excited for they're, they're all excited, so that's that's great. Had they not won Sunday, would they still be getting Thanksgiving off? Or yeah, kind of a... absolutely. Okay. <laughs> they may not have gotten Monday off. <laughs> Sunday, uh, th uh, um, Thursday was, was already planned. Okay. But yeah. see, they, they didn't think, they thought it, they had to win, though. You, 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 you well, sort of didn't let that part, part out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's being strategic. Holly Sierra was talking before about that, that Chattanooga game it still kind of resonates with these guys. And, and talk about your, your approach after that game and, and how do you feel like that's that game has impacted this team? Well, I, I think we weren't, we weren't ready. We weren't ready to defend a veteran team, a well-coached team. We weren't as focused as we should be. And um, I, I think we went back and, s and clarified things, simplified things uh, for each game plan. And, and I thought they, they came back, and uh, Georgia Tech was a huge game for us after we had lost that one day in between. And then to go down to Miami and, and play and, and beat them as well. Um, I thought our preparation was good. I thought their, their intensity has been really good since the since the um, uh, Chattanooga game. So I, I, the coaches have been a little bit focused, but the players have jumped on board as well. She said that y'all kind of took away their phones after that game. That's <laughs> that when, what, what was the what went into that decision and it was kind of a well, it, it, thing or no? We we do that. We just chose not to give them back in between games. It's like cutting you just cut off their arms with their cell phone. Oh my God, I've got to actually talk to somebody without my cell. But uh, it. it we just thought it was a way to get them focused and um, get ready to play, to play Georgia Tech after the, the, the way we played on, on Friday night. So we, we always take up their phones. We just chose not to give it back to them. What does it say about your team's mindset being so young to start 0-1 and, and end up 3-1? and Well, I'll tell you, they're, they're, they're competitive. They are young. They're going to make mistakes. But as long as we keep playing hard and playing with the mindset that we have right now, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, we make mental mistakes just because of our youth, but I think we're making up a lot in, in hustle plays and uh, just, just playing hard all the time. And that's what we've been trying to get them to do is play hard and, and get the hustle plays and make help. That'll make things happen for them. When you talk about playing hard, are you concerned that, uh, that the fouling is part of that playing hard? It seems like that, that rears its head at, at, at times for you guys. It really, almost, it really almost hurt you down in Miami. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think Miami was an example of we, we, uh, we got into foul trouble, so then we thought we, we couldn't get out and be aggressive, and then they were scoring in five seconds to go. So, yeah, sometimes playing hard can be a, as a disadvantage, and I thought the first half we, we uh, were a little bit too aggressive, and then it got us in foul trouble late, so we had to kind of back off, and we haven't really honestly practiced to uh, just containment defense. We haven't really put that in in practice. How do you, how do you address that? I mean, is, is it like free throw shooting? Do you try not to make too big of a deal out well, of it? Well, I, I tell you, Dan, in the game, I just said to take a step off and back off of them a little bit just because we had just be more contained than getting up and being aggressive. And uh, you know, I don't, I, we won the game and, and uh, we hit some big, big buckets, but I think we, we go in and, and, and we work on it and work on, we're going to work on probably more situations because we haven't worked on a lot of situations, us being up. Um, 
by whatever six with two minutes to go or being down. So I think our preparation is to put those into practice and, and, and try to be comfortable with them when they come game time. With, uh, Izzy said that her, with her minutes being up, she was really feeling it down in Miami. And she was sucking wind or something like that, she said. <laughs> uh, um, do you sense that, I mean, she stepped it up, obviously, in the amount of time she's playing right now, and she's, she's been productive. Just talk a little bit about how she's adapting, I guess, into her sophomore season now. Yeah, I think Izzy's putting in, getting the minutes, and uh, she plays hard, and I, I'm proud of Izzy of, of where she's taken her game. And I could see how minutes would catch up to her. Um, last year she was just sparingly off the bench, and this year she's our go-to player inside. So I think our pace, our offensive pace, and our demanding on defensive end, uh, after a while it's going to wear on you. And I think it kind of caught up to Izzy and the Miami game. I asked her about her shot and, and also about rebounding and the mentality for, for doing both. And, I'm still not. I don't still have a sense for which is easier for her. What do you think the stroke is easier or the going inside part and, and getting the rebounds? Well, you know, I, I like both sides, but I like her on the block, and um, she's she's real been real productive around the basket and off and rebounding and putting the ball back up. She has a good touch away from the basket, but I think her her go to. Uh, place is on the block and making moves and getting rebounds. What about Burdick? She's yeah. showing a nice in and out, inside outside game right now, isn't she? Well, Sierra has the ability to go inside and, and out. I mean, I, I think if you want to really look at her game, she would be a true four player, but we use her at the three as well. But um, I, I think you can stretch defense because she has the range and she can go inside as well. So I, I think you're seeing her versatility. How there. gutty was Ariel? She she still got that Achilles issue, but she went 33 minutes in that game and hit all those free throws. What what kind of a gut check performance was that for Ariel down there? All right, you just said it. It was a gut check, and um, she she's a competitor. And when the game's on the line, you you forget about your injuries and your ailments, and you, you're you're concentrating, you're focusing on getting the game done and getting a win. So I think that's what you saw uh, Ariel do. I, I just think we have a competitive group right now, and they're trying to do whatever it takes to win. You know, Sierra, you talked in the preseason a lot about her and how much she'd improved herself, their work ethic. And what's the biggest difference you see in her now versus a year ago? I think Sierra doesn't get so down on herself. I think she used to miss a shot, and her whole game would go in the tank. And, and I think now Sierra has learned to kind of refocus and understand we got to get the next play. So if she misses an offensive shot, um, she's got to go down and refocus and, and play on the defensive end. And her shot's going to – she's put too much time in, in the game and, and uh, in shooting. Her shot's going to – her shot's going to come back. She's just – she's trying to learn to not let that uh, – keep her away from focusing on, on the next play. And with such a young team, I mean, three of your first four games on the road, winning two of them over ranked teams, how much has it helped this team kind of grow up in a hurry? Uh, it's been huge. I think the, I think the UTC game allowed uh, had us growing up in a hurry. I think uh, playing there and then looking down the road of where we had to go in the next three games uh, was huge. And I think practice, they've grown up. They understand the importance of practice, and they've been a lot more focused. So I, I, I think we went back to work and, and, and that Friday night game at Chattanooga got us focused and then we saw what we could do at uh, Georgia Tech. And then last week we had a, we had a great week of practice and then um, we played Rice. So very pleased with our preparation. And that's what it's all about. We got to keep preparing, keep putting in the time, keep understanding what is important. And then the games, when they come to the games, it's got to be natural. It's got to be, uh, they're reacting and not thinking. And I think it, um, first couple of, of possessions, uh, especially at UTC, we were thinking and not act, reacting and playing the game of basketball. you got a, a pretty formal schedule coming up in December. How, how critical are these next few games before you hit that well, December stretch? They're huge because you, you've got uh, teams coming in and then you, you go, you play, um, you play Texas and then you play Baylor, who I think is number two, and then you come home and play Stanford number one now. So uh, it's a, it's a Pretty easy stretch right there, Jim. I, I just, you know, it is what it is. And so we've got to really focus on on uh, Alcorn State and then and Middle Tennessee is good. So we just got to keep plugging along and, and understanding um, we have North Carolina. We've got these teams at home and you've got to protect your home court. So right. we, we got to protect, make sure that we protect our home court and win all our games at home. And if we can do that, if we can do that and then get a couple on the road, I think we'll be in business. Right.